Hello everybody, welcome back to Pete's Classic Cycle and today I'm going to continue work on the 1972 Kawasaki S2 350. Now before I continue work on this bike, there's just a couple things I would like to address based on people's comments from the first video. Um, first up, just the intent of this video series is more of a show and tell. Uh, it's not really a step-by-step -step restoration process. However, if anybody wants me to address anything specific, either that I've done or something that I will be doing, please, please, please comment below. So that way I can uh, address all the topics that you guys want to see to try to you know, help everybody out. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. Um, thing number two, the big elephant in the room is the front end. Uh, a lot of people commented saying this is the wrong front end for this bike and you're 100% right. This front end is off of a Kawasaki S3400. So it's got the aluminum lowers, uh, disc brakes is a big one. The whole headlight and gauge assembly, totally different than the standard S2350. Um, this was a, a common upgrade back in the day because these bikes didn't stop good on the best of days, especially the S2 with the drum brakes. So a lot of people upgraded to the disc, disc brake front end off the 400. What I can say is we do have the original front end that is currently being restored and that will go back on the bike for final assembly. But until we reach that point, I might as well just leave this one on here so I can wheel the bike around in case I have to pull it off the lift or, or move it around the garage, whatever. And lastly, one thing I'd like to address is the overall condition of this bike. In my previous video, I, I said that this bike is in pretty good condition. And I suppose that's all a matter of context or a matter of opinion. Um, to be perfectly honest, if you're comparing this to fully restored bikes, yeah, this thing's a hunk of junk. You know, it sat in a garage for 20, 30 years. You know, there's lots of surface rust. So no, this isn't pretty good condition when compared to bikes at, at shows. However, if you're planning to restore a bike, this is a perfect candidate. And from that perspective, it is in pretty good condition. And what I mean by that is the frame is straight. It hasn't been crashed. A lot of times these tabs will be rotted off or, or, or smashed or bent. Um, you know, there's lots of surface rust on the frame, but it's all superficial. It's nothing deep and penetrating. So that will be very easy to resolve. Um, the motor turns over, as you'll see in this video, I don't want to give too much away, but it does run. Um, the pipes are in great condition. It's got most of the original parts on it. And any parts that we don't have, we do have on site with a couple parts bikes that came along with this. So yes, it's not in good condition when you're looking at the grand scheme of things, but as a candidate to restore, this is kind of the perfect scenario. It's got everything there. I'm not going to be searching eBay and stuff for all the really hard to find bits. So uh, that's kind of what I meant when I said the bike's in pretty good condition. Um, hopefully that addresses some of your questions. Uh, so without further ado, let's get cracking, fire this bike up, and then begin tear down so we can send these parts off for blasting and paint. Sounds good guys. give you a quick rundown of what I've done. I, as you can see, I've got the carbs put back on the bike, uh, cleaned them all out, made sure all the jets were clean. Um, did a, a rough sink, nothing real official, just kind of to get, get them on ballpark with each other. Uh, I had to replace the oil pump because we had a strip thread. So I got a new pump on there. It's all primed, ready to go. No leaks, no nothing. And as I come around, I cleaned off all the points. I, I did a check earlier to make sure that all three cylinders are sparking. Everything is good. Um, for whatever reason, yeah, this left cylinder, when I fired up the bike, wasn't running. Um, the temperature was sitting around 100 degrees Fahrenheit when the other two were about 160 to 180, give or take. So I pulled the carb off again, cleaned out all the jets, made sure that the needle wasn't stuck or anything like that. 
uh, confirm that I still have spark in the cylinder. So basically I'm about to do another uh, test again. I've got the an old H2 tank on here for now. Uh, all, everything's filled with fuel. I'm going to pull the tank off. Basically just run up, run out of the bowls until they uh, empty off. And uh, that's about it. Well that concludes most of the major disassembly that I plan to do so far. We've got enough parts pulled off of the bike that we can start sandblasting and painting everything. The motor's been removed, I can start to detail that, do any service work that, that I deem necessary. And from there, the next step, the next major step anyway, is to tackle the, the frame itself. So now that it's stripped down, we can do a closer look for any damage, maybe around the engine mounts, etc and basically remove the front end, the rear end, uh, send everything else, including the frame for sandblasting, get it painted, and then hopefully by then we'll have all the other components ready to go and we can start reassembly. So again, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. If you wanna uh, keep updated on this build, always please guys, click subscribe. I've got lots of other uh, Kawasaki triple content and vintage two strokes on my channel. So that does it for me. I'm starving. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to get some food before I get too hangry and say something I regret. <laughs> so uh, that's it for me tonight, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. And as always, please ride safe.